Good morning, everyone, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Today, we're going to take a look at one of the used trucks that we have on the lot. This is a 2017 Freightliner M2-106. The conversion is Western Hauler. Now, Western Hauler has been around for a long time. They're built down there in Texas and do really outstanding work. But as we admire this one from the side view, let's talk about a couple of things that really jump out at us. One thing we notice is that it is a metallic black. When we get in on it, you can see that the gold specks are coming through it. In addition to that, in terms of the bed, it's a little bit different. See how we have these rails coming up on the side? So that's good from the standpoint that it does make it a little bit flatter so you're able to haul things on top of that bed coupled with the fact that it can tow a substantial amount really makes it a high quality product now i know that a lot of the people that are kind of shopping and comparing these are comparing them to pickup trucks so let's just take a minute and talk about the advantages of the freightliner compared to a pickup first is makes more sense from an economic standpoint I mean, it's not uncommon at all to see pickups bringing $100,000. Well, this is going to last basically the same amount of time as three pickup trucks. So you can spend $300,000 on pickups or a little bit more than $100,000 on something like this that's going to last the same amount of time. So from an economic standpoint, the advantage goes to Freightliner. Second of all, let's talk about safety between the two. Just the sheer size and mass alone of a Freightliner compared to a pickup is a huge advantage. Let's say we are in a wreck or an accident with the Freightliner, your odds of walking away from it are substantially higher than they are a pickup truck. In addition to the sheer size, this comes with air brakes compared to a hydraulic that's on a pickup. So, let's say we get a leak in a hydraulic line. It's just going to continue to flow out, flow out, until there's nothing left and you go to hit the brakes and there's nothing there. Well, let's compare that to air. If you have a small leak in an airline, there's an unlimited supply of air. You can still keep pumping uh, the brakes and getting them to work for you until you have a chance to get that fixed. So there's another advantage to the Freightliner. Another advantage is the brake system. As it is air, not only that, but the size of the drums of a pickup truck compared to a Freightliner is a substantial difference. Now, I recognize the fact that the pickups can tow an incredibly large amount these days, but you have to realize all that weight pushing you and you're gonna rely on a little bitty brake pad to stop you compared to the Freightliner advantage that goes here. Third is comfort. You know, once we, when we do the video, we're be able to see the inside just to see how much space and room that you're able to get in the Freightliner, compare that to a pickup truck where you're, especially that back seat where you're just shoulder to shoulder. So making those long 12, 13 hour trips substantially more comfortable in something like this than the pickup truck. Now let's take a look from the front view. Let's start at the top and work our way down. We see a row of orange lights right across the front. So at nighttime, this truck will really light itself up. When we come on down and take a look at the windshield, we find 2,500 square inches of glass. So that makes visibility simply outstanding in this truck. We come on down, we see the Freightliner badge located here. In addition, to the grill which allows a substantial amount of air to get into that engine. Tow hooks located here and here. As you notice, the bumper is broken down into three parts. So the logic is if we get in an accident and ding it here, we can replace that part without having to do the entire bumper. Let's take a look under the hood. That is the Cummins 
8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower, 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. And as you see, things are kind of color-coordinated underneath here. So where we see red, we're just going to let the Freightliner mechanics worry about that. But we're still able to do some stuff in the pre-trip inspection. We can check the oil right here windshield fluid right here or power steering right there just some things like that that you can still do now one thing to take note of if for some reason we leave a light on something like that and we drain the batteries and they die we go to start the vehicle the next morning and it simply won't do it we can jump the truck from under here as you can see right there was where we would hook the cables up to jump start the truck so we don't have to worry about tearing underneath the back of the cab where the batteries are, we can simply jump start it right there. <coughs> As we take a look at the tires, we did put brand new tires on it. Those are 255 80 R 22.5. Underneath here is the block heater. And we can see a, a row of orange lights running along this side as well. As we take a look in the front seat, both driver and passenger are air, and you can adjust those right here. Both front seats are also heated. Right there is where we turn that on. Some other things we can notice from here. Here is our trailer brake, located here. Right here is to increase or decrease brightness to the dash. Now, when we go to start our truck, we're gonna to wanna to turn that key about halfway. Let those gauges go all the way over and all the way back, basically reset themselves and then start the truck. If we get in a hurry and do that prematurely, there is a chance it'll kick a code that simply doesn't exist. As we take a look at the back seat, you can see it does make down into a bed and that's easily put back up with push of a button and I can, I'll show you that once we get inside. I did check with DOT and this does meet specifications for a bed. One storage component right here for carrying items such as the fire extinguisher, things of that nature. Now let's take a view directly behind. Again, we'll work from the top down. We can see right up there in the middle is the backup camera. And as we come back, we can see lights located on each side. As we come on down and take a look at the bed, you can see it's already lined. When making an investment like this, we're gonna to wanna to make longevity as high as possible. So having that bed line really is an advantage. As you can see on the bed, it is cut out. Basically, there's a trough right here. Which the advantage to that is I've seen several trucks come in that don't have that. That's just solid here. And boy, the back of that bed is really beat up. So you really have a nice advantage having that trough there. Here is the light hookup for the gooseneck or fifth wheel. You'll notice tie downs running along both sides. As we come on back, even more lighting across here. You can see the hitch for a bumper pull trailer. 
And right here is the lights for that. One question that I, I get a lot of times is what's the warranty like on the Freightliners? Well, it's two years unlimited mile on the powertrain, so basically the engine. And the Allison transmission offers five year unlimited miles. So even though this one is uh, out of factory warranty in terms of the powertrain, that is, uh, that is something that our finance department offers is extended warranty. As we take a look inside the passenger seat, this shows you just how much room is available on the passenger side. Right up here is the button for the back seat. So all I have to do is push that button and that back seat goes right back up. If we notice the door panel, we can kind of see the, what Western Hauler does. You see how they call this the red oak. So you can see the paneling running on, on the door that really dresses the truck up. Now let's jump inside and take a closer look. This truck does come with a CB radio located here. And as we come on down and take a look, it does look like there's a whole lot of buttons and things, but they really make a lot of sense in terms of what they're able to do. It's not complicated at all. Cruise control located right here. Our mirror heaters here. This is the regen button, which basically cleans out the entire exhaust system. Chances are we're never ever gonna use that it's more designed for people that drive in big cities really short trips like that and compact well it's designed as you're going coast to coast or border to border to automatically clean that self out in terms of the exhaust intermittent marker lights located here this these four here are the windows this is the dump valve and what that does is let air out of the back of the truck so when you go to hook up your trailer, let the air out back underneath it and put the air back in and that makes hooking up that trailer simpler. Backup camera is located up here as we come on down. Right now we are in park with the brake on. As you can see, there is no park so that when you're in park, that's what you do. R for reverse, N for neutral and D for drive and you're on your way this locks the differential. One important thing to note is right here, this is the engine brake. So when you turn that on high, you actually have 350 horses coming back at you. An example would be if you're towing a heavy trailer behind you and you're coming down a sharp decline, you're gonna to wanna to turn that on high because that's gonna slow everything down. Climate control located right here. And if we take a look at the console, we can see a couple of cup holders here. This pops on up, and this truck comes with the original manuals as well. This is stock number 5U220282. If you have any other questions about it, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067, the work extension 303. 684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.